Hey, it's Don the Auction Professor. I had talked about a media uh, haul that I had. Now, literally, I filled my van up the other day with just media-related items. Slides, thousands and thousands of slides. Same thing with uh, movie rolls. I've got tons of 8mm film, some 16mm film. I got some stag films, some slides. I even got some large glass plate. Um, now, this is a, literally a glass plate negative. Um, instead of like a 35 millimeter slide, you'll see stuff like these, these glass plate negatives. Um, these are fairly uh, scarce these days. I don't run into a lot of them. Um, I'll show you some close-ups here in just a minute. I'll usually put these on a light table and then I'll take pictures of them uh, with the light table um, and use that for it. Um, there's some interesting topics. It's a shame it's hard to see them this way, but these are like Newsboy and, you know, I've got some window displays, some Commodore Perry items, just all around interesting local content, a bunch from Finley, a bunch from the uh, Ohio State uh, University. Um, this is the kind of stuff that I see a lot, just like these films. I got quite a few cases of these. This is just full of reels. Now, uh, right now, I've got three, 400 reels this big. These canisters of film, there's about 400 feet in any one of these. The little tiny ones that you see at the store, um, like these size here that you see, these are only like 50 feet, and they still have you know multiple minutes worth of film on them. These are like 20 minutes or better worth of film, and these are all interesting content from what the stickers say on these. And I picked up a ton of this, as I said. Now, most people don't mess with these or just dump them off cheaply. There's a lot of foreign shots in here of airports. There's some, like, uh, behind the Berlin Wall and things like that that are going to sell for a ton of money in these. I've just got a few hundred dollars into a whole van load full. Um, again, as I said, slides. Um, you've got negatives. I've got... Uh, large size slides that were made for a regular projector then there's some actually some specialty ones in here that are mass produced just to project on as well too but I also got smaller size negatives in these packs here um, something like this here now it's even chewed up I didn't think a whole bunch at this I don't have a ton of money into these I don't have that much into these there's a ton of negatives in here now these are from some major event in Finley Ohio um, it has a huge amount of soldiers all armed all marching down the street uh, protecting a vehicle of some sort so I'm gonna have to look at some of these closer and see what they are maybe it's a funeral I haven't de determined that yet but on stuff like these negatives you run into you can actually take a picture of them with a light table if you don't have a light table it's easy to make your own light table I may go into that in another video uh, but there's tons of directions on how to make a light table you can take pictures of these and then with a basic program you can invert the image in the in the PC and then you can see the image as it should look as if it was a real photo so that's what I do to a lot of these um, when I think they're decent content um, uh, the negatives sell very well for us we've got some glass plate negatives um, I've got a ton of them I probably got about hundred glass plate negatives um, and I'm gonna literally take photos one by one of those there's some kids in in um, like on a tricycle and things like that I'm gonna show you a few here in just a moment you get to see some close-ups of some of these before and after so you can kind of get the gist of them but let me just go into this here real quick these uh, slide um, carousels here these are junk the slide carousels themselves so I always just take out all the slides you can literally just yank this part off the slides will come right out from there it's interesting topics but I never am able to sell these ca uh, carousels I usually just re recycle the cardboard and then recycle the plastic um, and just get rid of them and then as I said I bag everything up I put usually a little uh, label on it in here and with a, a um, posty and that way I can keep track on what's on each one of these bags. Because you really can't look at them this way either. They take up a lot of space. I just trash these off. The only ones on the slides that are worth hanging on to would be something like these cases here. These cases here can be used for um, uh, coins too because they hold the 2x2 two two coin holders. The little cardboard ones with the window for the coins. So there's several areas that these can be sold in. Um, they don't go for a ton of money. I might get... 15 20 bucks for one of these I got a bunch of them now because I got them all with this lot but that just gives you an idea and same with some of these movies here the eight millimeter films um, Tempest Storm now some of these I recognize that name she's a um, I don't know what you'd want to call it more like a not necessarily a stripper but she's more into the 
um, burlesque aspect of it. So there's some burlesque videos in here of some very rare subjects in here. I don't mess with a lot of the adult material. Some of the vintage ones that show up in the 8mm, though, I do sell because I got them. They sell very well. I list them in the adults-only section. Um, that's something you're going to run across collecting antiques and collectibles or selling them. You're going to run into some adult material in the material you find. I guarantee it. There's postcards with adult content from the vintage era 1910s. There's movies, there's slides, there's negatives. Um, everything in the media field you're going to find in the adult nature too on occasion. So if you're not into you know finding it and messing with it, just be cautious. I'm just warning you right now. But we'll just head over to the screen just for a few minutes and I'm just going to show you some of the differences on here. Okay, so um, this is the first one here. Now this is a glass plate 5x7 negative. I've just imported it. Um, into Manga Studio. That's what I'm using here. And um, once you import it into many of the programs, you have to do what's called rasterizing the image. This changes the format of the image so you're able to uh, actually address it and change how it appears. Once they're usually first imported, that option is not there. This one has been rasterized already. Um, and then all you're doing then from this point on is you're inverting the gradient, the, the tone of it. So you're just... Uh, flipping it from a negative, which it is now, into a positive, as you see right here. Um, don't worry about that black on the top. Sometimes that happens when you're uh, uh, converting them here. It's just a matter of clicking on it, and you'll see. Uh, but there's many programs that do this. Um, I just happen to use Magus Studio. I have Corel Draw. I've got Adobe. Um, I'm thinking even GIMP and some of the main, uh, you know, freebies actually does it too. But I use this for other things, so I, I love using this these art programs. So again, that's what I do. As a glass plate slide, I couldn't sell it very well just as a glass plate slide, but now I can, now that you can see the image. So that's what you're looking for here. Um, and then I'll just go ahead and save this um, for my eBay file. Literally, I'll, sh I'll save a copy of both versions of it as a negative and as a positive. Um, I'm not going to show you any close-ups on slides because those are already positive. So when you're doing a 35 millimeter slides, all you got to do is take a picture. It's all set to go. Uh, now, all these glass plate negatives and the small negatives, now, those, as you see here, you have to import them somewhere. Um, and then you're going to alter them here. Now, this is one of the ones I talked about, the Finley, the soldiers marching down the streets. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and rasterize it, as you see here. And then again, once it's rasterized, and I just invert the actual image. Um, now, some of these are going to turn out that bluish tint you see here, and that is because this isn't a black and white technically um, negative. This is actually for a sepia tone image. They won't be quite black and white. Um, that's the early style. You can usually tell um, these. This is from the 19 or 20s or 1930s at the very latest. Um, and on these, the copyrights are dead. On most of these, you should be safe to use the images. Um, it's right on the borderline here on the, these the, this era, um, the age on these. But you're fairly safe on stuff like this. Um, you can run into trouble again, so you better research it yourself too. Um, but I'll show you a couple more here. Um, and again, as I said, it's going to turn to like a weird bluish tint. Um, to get rid of the blue tint, if you really want to, you can just go in and turn it into a black and white photo um, just by clicking a couple more buttons. And, and it just depends on which program you're using, um, you know, where it, where you got to go to actually do that. So I won't go into that per se as well here. We're just talking about the actual procedure here. And again, here's a really cute one here it's hard to tell so what I do is I go through these I hold them up on the light table I pick the ones that look better that look like they will you know yield a good subject after I've transferred them and, and transposed them into a positive again they they come as a negative and you want to get them into a positive again the 35 millimeter slides are already positive so the only ones you have to do this to are negatives now negatives don't sell on their own if you can't see them so once you've converted them here as you see this one's now a cute little girl. She's got all of her Christmas presents out circa 1910, 1915 era. This photo, if this was a photo, I'd still sell this, you know, in the $30, $40 range. Um, but again, here's another one, a soldier. Now, when you do this, the, the actual quality is so much better than a photo because you're getting it straight from the source and negative. Now, these I'll show the, the, the positive, the actual photo image of it is what I'm going to show on my eBay listings. And it, it sells just as easily, if not better, than a photo. So if you sell photos and you don't mess with the negatives, you're missing out on half the fun because literally these negatives 
negatives will sell. That is a real good, clear image of a World War One or even before soldier, you know, camped out with this full gear canteen rifle. That's a Springfield he ha has on him. I mean, it's a, a real nice image. He even had his bayonet. Um, here's another one here. Now, I've already figured out where this is at. Um, these came from a Finland area. This is downtown Finley. This is downtown Finley. Um, it does very well, these kind of images. So I'm going to make some good money on these um, as a, a photo, you know, type of item. It's going to go in the photograph section. Um, you know, I'll put that it's a negative. Make it clear when you advertise these that it's a negative and not a photo. But again, these sell very, very well. I always do good on these kind of items but you got to convert them into an image. Now this is a key image. It's got a good building. It's got cars. This is a loaded downtown image. This one should be 15, 20 bucks minimum. A, a buff from uh, the area that this was taken would actually make it, uh, would actually pay more than that too. So that just gives you an idea on this one here. But um, that's what I do with all of the negatives. I will sit here and transfer them and do the same thing you just saw here. Um, here's another one. This one's actually a Halloween scene um, that I've uh, it transferred um, in. Um, you, you see that black for a second there. It goes to black for just a second sometimes when you're actually uh, converting them to a raster image. No big deal there. But then um, I literally come back in and then I revert it again. And this one has black witches and they've got uh, masks. I think one or two of the people have masks on. I've got several from the same grouping. So they're all good images. And again, I'll just save a copy of this, what I just transferred. And then that's going to go up to eBay. And, you know, that's going to be on my listing. So I'll have a copy of the negative and a copy of the positive in my listing listing with the positive, the actual photo size being the main image um, of the item for my eBay listing. Well, there you go. That's a touch on uh, another touch on media here. I sell slides. I sell eight millimeter films. I sell negatives, real photos um, across the gambit, whatever I can get my hands on for media. It's a ton of material you can get for practically nothing. These here um, actually, I got a ton of these from a auction. Uh, actually, a picker got them from the auction. I looked up some of this material. Somebody else got uh, some more items, some more of this same material from the exact same person from another auction and was selling these. These are actually um, missionary workers in Africa in like the 1920s and 30s. And I'm going to get a ton of money for these because they're high dollar sellers. There's some actual photos mixed in here, but I've got maybe eight, nine hundred images in here and uh, negatives. I'm going to split them up into lots of maybe a hundred and get 150 or so for each lot. So there's at least $1,500 in these slides. Same thing. There's These are China. Just this group right here alone in China is going to pay for everything I got in my van. I filled up my van, as I said. These slides will pay for everything and make me a profit fully, at least double my money just off of these. And again, I got all of this plus probably about 50 times what you see on this table, more than that. Um, because again, I've uh, already eliminated, these were full in cases like these things here, um, and I just bagged them all up. I've got tons of bags now of these that we took almost four hours to sort through all the media that we got in that one day. So um, that just gives you an idea here. There's a lot of money to be made in these. It just takes your time to look at them you know, photograph them. It's just like postcards, you know. There might be 60 or 70 slides in here. I'll throw them up one at a time, just like I'm doing postcards. I'll set up a light table, and, you know, that's what I'll do to photograph these. I'll zoom in on my camera. I'll put in a, a micro lens on it um, so I can zoom in really closely, and it'll get some really good details. You'll be surprised at what you can do with the light table on these. They can be adjusted once they're actually transferred into the PC or your laptop, so they're easy to address, easy to photograph, easy to list, and easy to sell. But that's what I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button below. You can also hit the bell icon up top to be notified when I post new videos. Subscribe and tell a friend.